Hi guys, today we are going to be playing with some beautiful makeup and I am so excited to show you guys. Some of you may have seen this already because I did kind of sneak peek this in a haul video that I did a long time ago. I know I keep referring to that video but like that's where I originally showed this and so I've had these in my collection for quite some time and I haven't really had time to like feature it in a video. I have used some of these things that I have filmed one look with so this is going to be a two look video like I usually do these. I want to do a first and second impression but like I said I've already filmed like portion of this, so you're gonna see that at the end of the video. But I wanna do a look here together with you guys and show you all of the products and tell you what this brand is all about. So this is a brand called Flower Nose. Flower Nose or Flower Nows? Flower Nose. Flower K-N-O-W-S. I will link their website down below. I don't have a code or anything with them, but they did send me these products. And honestly, after having used some of these, I wanna go on their website and buy more because some of this stuff is really good. So let's start off by showing you what I'm the most excited. Honestly, all of these things I'm really excited about, but they did send me a palette and this is from their Circus collection. So it comes beautifully packaged. This is the cardboard. And then of course, inside is the palette that I've taken out because I have already used this. And here is the palette itself. So they have multiple series of different palettes on their website and different kind of themes. So depending on what you're interested in, you can pick up something that's maybe different than this if you don't like this one, but the packaging is just, like, I don't think you understand like how beautiful this uh, packaging is until you really see it in real life. Like it just feels really luxurious. It's got some weight to it. It's really, really nice and just feels sturdy. And here is the inside of the palette. Now you can tell this is quite a, like a neutral wearable palette, which isn't always like my aesthetic, but honestly, I feel like because of just how cute this is, like I don't mind this at all and I have been more into neutrals lately and I feel like I can spice this up and do something really fun with it. And the one look that I have filmed already with this, I really liked it. Like this palette is so far really nice quality and I had a great time with this. So I think we're just gonna do another look with this and have some fun. But let me show you the other things that they sent me as well. So here's another thing that I have already used and this is a blush. So. This is also from the Circus collection. Here's what the cardboard packaging looks like. And this packaging is just so extra. Like, look at this blush. <laughs> look at that blush, isn't that so adorable? Let me try to show you a little bit better. But look at that compact. Like this one also feels, I wouldn't say it's like super heavy, but it definitely feels like really nice quality. And inside of this is a kind of ombre uh, blush. And I've used this two times now and it's a beautiful beautiful color so i'll show you the application of this blush because it's really really pretty i've enjoyed it a lot and i feel like i can use it as sort of a blush and bronzer hybrid and it works really well for that but i think i'm a little bit more excited about the next blush that i want to show you so like look at this packaging it is so big i don't think you can really see the outside because it's like white and the reflection of the camera isn't showing it off properly but again such extra packaging <laughs> It comes in this huge thing and inside you have a compact that looks like it would have like powder in it like a loose powder compact but just look at how pretty that is has a little bow on the top again it feels like really nice quality and inside is the blush now this is the one i haven't tried yet i can't wait to put this on my face i feel like from having tried the other formula these aren't super pigmented but they can get built up and they're really easy to work with so i think that this is going to work out very well as a blush color even though it looks kind of scary and they also sent me two lip products also again packaging a plus these are sort of like the like the Kaleidos Lip Clays. They're the kind of matte lipstick formula that's sort of moussey and just feels really nice on the lips. So again, packaging, really, really nice. Probably has a couple of fingerprints on it because I've taken this in and out of the packaging so many times now, but the component just feels really nice and I can't wait to use this again. I have used, I think it was the other color that I've used, but this one is really pretty. i give you a quick swatch on the back of my hand. So this is sort of a like a dark reddish shade. And you can see just kind of how smoothly it blends out. And that's exactly how it looks on the lips too. It's got really nice blurring qualities and it's very, very comfortable. I'll show you the other color as well. This color, the first one was the shade number eight. And then the other one here is shade number six. So different packaging on this one. Same compact, just a different kind of theme on the outside. And I will show you a swatch of this one as well. This is a beautiful, more 
orangey color and this one is also so pretty like look at that that is beautiful those colors are so nice so i had to go back and look at my photos to figure out which one it is that i've used already so i've already used the uh red one so i'm gonna use the orange one today so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and put that on i wonder if i have a lip liner that's gonna work with that color because i do prefer a lip line that's a little bit sharper than what you can kind of get with these so i'm gonna use this one from melt it's not exact this is a little bit more coral and lighter but i think that it's gonna be fine still this is in a shade called cinder And then I'm going to go ahead and put this lipstick on over the top and I think it's going to look beautiful. And I was right because I love the way this looks. They feel so nice, so comfortable, so smooth, so velvety. Oh, I really like that. Uh, let's see, what should we do next? I think we should go ahead and do the blush because... I want to see what this blush looks like. I'm so excited. So let's see. Does this have a name? Um, all of this is in Chinese, so I don't know what this one is called. Does it say on the packaging? Um, cameo flower nose cameo blush. That's all I'm getting out of this. I think that's what it's called. So I'm going to take my favorite blush brush of all time. This is from Spectrum Brushes. This is the A04. I love round blush brushes. I always have. I probably always will so i'm gonna go quite heavy in there just gonna tap it off a little bit that was very loud and just go quite light here to see how pigmented this is that is a really pretty color i'm gonna go in a little bit heavier just on the outer portion here i do have some bronzer on already but i didn't want to go too heavy with it because i wanted to really be able to see the color of the blush and that's beautiful you can see it's not the absolute most pigmented so you can definitely make it uh, sheer out and make it work even if you're even fairer than I am because I am going in quite heavy so you're not going to get like that super intense like red look on your cheeks and I think that's a good thing because even I as someone who is super into blush probably wouldn't want like a red blush you know like that that's a bit much even for me so I think that the fact that this is sort of a sheer formula just makes it work really nicely and it makes it look even cooler in the pan because of how bright it is but it's such a wearable such a wearable red that this is definitely not something to be scared of but like i said you can build it up to be much more intense than this so i think this would work on a lot of different skin tone but look how cute this color is i'm going quite heavy with this like i usually do with my blush because i do want you to see the color and like i'm not mad at this at all like that is so pretty I really like that. I'm gonna just take my powder brush a little bit and just kind of run it over to make sure it's nice and blended. And then we're gonna go into the eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna put all the trash on the floor because we don't need that anymore. <laughs> gonna prime my eyes like always with my Natasha Denona eyeshadow base and then we're gonna play with this palette. I don't think I wanna do anything like crazy with the palette itself i want it to be a pretty simple look and then we're gonna spice it up with maybe some liners or maybe some rhinestones or just a little bit of something extra because you saw the palette it's quite a toned down neutral like everyday kind of palette and you guys know that's not really my thing but i honestly don't mind palettes like this anymore because it lets me it almost forces me to use more things in my collection to make the looks more me if that makes any sense because I feel like it's almost an excuse for me to pull in things that I wouldn't always be able to pull in depending on the palettes that I'm reviewing. But with a canvas like this one, which is gonna be quite soft and like wearable, I think that is gonna be easier to like spice it up with some liners and whatever it is that I feel like doing. So since I used mostly the neutrals in my first look, I did use this one. These two, I think, or maybe these two or these two. I definitely used the browns. I want to work with these two colors today and maybe the red as well. So maybe what I'll do is I'll do sort of a combination of these four shades. I think that's kind of what I want to do. So I'm going to start with the purple one. I'm curious to see how pigmented this is going to be since it is a pastel color. But I did find the other mattes in this palette that I've used to be very nice and pigmented. So I'm going to start packing that basically in 
the front half or so of my crease and then I'll use the peach shade in the outer portion. So it's definitely pigmented. It's taken a little bit of time to just build it up, but I feel like that is what I'm expecting from a brand like this and a formula like this. But as long as I'm able to build up the color, I don't really care if it takes a little bit of extra time. This is really pretty. It's a very cute color. If you're someone who really cares about packaging in your makeup products, which I'm not gonna lie, I care about packaging and I'm a bit of a makeup snob and I want my thing. I like nice things. <laughs> I think that's what it comes down to. I like nice things and I'm kind of spoiled. And so stuff like this just makes me happy and it reminds me a little bit of uh, of ZZ. ZZ has a really nice formula as well and their palettes are also so aesthetically pleasing and so luxurious feeling that if you like ZZ, I think that you would really like this brand as well because they have kind of similar vibes and I feel like this is maybe a little bit more, I don't know if playful is the right word, but I like their theming. I feel like they're different and they stand out from other brands because of their themes. So it's a very soft, pastel-y, pinky purple, but I think that's really pretty. Next up, I'm gonna go into the coral shade. This palette doesn't have any names. Uh, the shadows doesn't have any names, even on the back of the palette, which I don't really mind that because I'm just gonna point at them and that way I'm not gonna butcher any shade names at least because I wouldn't be able to pronounce these anyway. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this in the outer portion of my crease. You can see I'm just kind of packing it on and that's also very pigmented. That is a beautiful, beautiful color. I'm gonna kind of just mesh these two in together. I'm not gonna be like super precise with this application. I want this to be a very easy, kind of blown out corally purpley look. And I am gonna use two of the shimmers on my lid. That's the plan at least. I'm gonna wing this out just a little bit here. I don't want this to be super blown out either. don't know if I want to do anything underneath my eye. I might do one of like the browns after I'm done, but I think I'm just going to leave it like this for now. Uh, let's do the shimmers and just kind of see how things are looking. I am going to use some glitter primer because these shimmers are definitely on the like sheer side, but they look beautiful on the lid. I haven't tried all of them, but the ones that I did use were really, really nice. So I'm just taking some of my glitter primer on a flat brush here, and I'm just going to put that all over my lid even on the outer corner, because I do want to have that red shimmer on the outer corner of my eye. I'm making sure to not put my glitter primer like all the way up in my crease because I want to be able to blend these shimmers into my crease. So I'm going to be a little bit careful with that. I'm going to start with the red, I think, which is the one in the heart shape down here. And I'm picking that up with the sticky side of my brush that I used a glitter primer with, and I'm just gonna put that on the outer half of my lid. Look how pretty that is. That is a beautiful red shimmer. And you could definitely use this more sheerly if you wanted to, because it's not the most like, it's not a thick formula, which I actually really enjoy formula like this because it makes it easier to maneuver and you can still build it up to be nice and opaque and metallic if you want to but you can also share it out and sort of blend it into your crease it would also probably make for a beautiful just one color eye look if you're someone who likes to use all shimmers and just blend them out i think this would be a beautiful color for that but that looks really really nice i am blending it into my crease ever so slightly here because I do want this to be a pretty blended eye look and I also want it to be very very simple I don't feel like I don't feel like with a palette like this you're meant to do like crazy cut creases like that's not the kind of vibes that I'm getting with this and I feel like most people who would use this would use it to do quite simple eye looks with and so that's kind of what I want to do as well even though this might be a little out there for some people who end up buying this palette but this is right up my alley And then for the front portion of my lid, I think I'm gonna take the shade next to it here. This is definitely a duochrome. It's a beautiful sort of peachy gold. I'm not sure how else I would explain this. Peachy gold, what else does it have? Let's just put it on the lid and kind of see. It's such an iridescent shade as well. That is so pretty. The shimmers in this are beautiful. 
Like it reminds me a lot of like indie brand shimmers that I have as well. But I would say that these are maybe a little bit more subtle, but at the same time, they're really not like, can you see like the, sh the sparkle in them? The only difference I feel like with this formula is that it's a little more sophisticated maybe in that it's like sheerer to begin with. So you can do, like I said, more subtle eye looks with, but you can also build it up and use it over a glitter primer and get something super intense like here. Like that looks so good. I just, I just can't. Like this is a beautiful palette. And if you're someone who look at the palettes that I normally review and you're like, that is way too out there. That is way too intense. I could never wear that. This might be a brand for you because their products so far, I am very impressed. And look how nicely these are just blending together as well. So I don't actually think I want to do anything underneath my eyes. So I'm going to take my Blend Bunny palette. Actually, no, there's a bone color matte in here. I'm just going to use that. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade right here and I'm just gonna kind of use that to make sure that my outer edge here is kind of cleaned up a little bit. I don't wanna make like a sharp line, but I like using a bone color matte to kind of just clean up a little bit on the outer portion if I'm not gonna do anything underneath my eye. And I'm also gonna go back in with my uh, blush just to kind of make sure I don't have like that white spot there because you can see it's almost like there's product missing right here I'm gonna take a little bit more of the blush tap it off and just make sure that I put some so that it almost blends into my eyeshadow and then once I put my highlighter on this is just all gonna mesh in together so nicely and I think for my highlighter, I'm gonna use this one from Woodenside. This is one of their newest ones. It's called Pink Star. So you can see in the pan, it looks very yellow, but honestly on the face, it definitely looks way more pink. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use that as my highlighter. That is so pretty. Oh yeah. I don't know exactly what I wanna do to finish off with my eye look yet. So I gotta kind of figure that out. I don't know if I wanna pull in maybe some blue to kind of go with the top that I'm wearing or if I just want to keep it kind of corally and soft. I'm thinking I want to pull in some blue because I just feel like the contrast is going to look really nice. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the dark blue shade in this. Uh, maybe I'll use, I don't think I've used this one yet. I'm going to take this dark blue shade. This is one of these split pan liners from Glisten Cosmetics. I don't know if this has, no, it doesn't have a name on it, but this is the one that has a purple next to it. You can probably use any color similar, but I just want to use this because it's kind of similar to one of the colors in my shirt and it's almost like a blurply color. So I just want to see how this is going to go. I'm just making sure I get this nice and wet. I'm using a brush from P. Louise. This is my favorite for water activated liners when I'm just doing like a liner and that might be a little bit too much water. So I'm just going to kind of swirl this until I get the consistency that it is that I want in here and then I'm just going to use this to do I'm not going to do a liner on top of my lid with this I'm just gonna use it from the outer corner of my eye and just pull a line up with my eye open here and then I'm going to connect it to my lid sort of just like that I think that's where I'm going to leave it and I'm probably going to add to this with something else but for now this is what I'm going to do. Not completely sure where my camera shut off, but I also used a little bit of the highlighter in my inner corner. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take a nail dotting tool, which I've been loving lately because these are just so fun. And I'm gonna use one that has a pretty large ball on the tip of it. I'm gonna dip that into my water activated liner and I'm gonna do a big dot just right kind of in the inner corner right here. Can you see what I'm doing? I am not sure, but I'm trying my best to not cover everything with my mirror every time, but it's so hard. Just gonna make sure that these are somewhat even. I think I nailed that on the first go. That is really cute, I like that. I think this is where I'm going to leave it. I don't think I wanna do anything else. I don't wanna mess with this. I don't want this look to be like too much. I just wanna have some extra couple of fun details and I feel like this is it. 
Now, am I gonna do lashes with this? I'm not completely sure, but let me go ahead and pop some blue in my waterline though. I'm gonna use this liner from Wooden Sigh. I have a love-hate relationship with these because I feel like they're nice, but sometimes I have a hard time getting them into my waterline. This is the shade called 09. Look how pretty that color is. That's a very bright blue. I'm not sure that's what I was going for, but I guess that is what we're doing. And I think I'm just gonna put on some mascara and call it a day. I don't really think I wanna do lashes with this. I think I want this to be more of a, a softer look. So I think this is just a look that I'm going for. I think that's all I'm going to do. So that was super simple. I'm like, are these even? Not completely, but also it's like impossible to get anything even and that's okay. I'll be okay with that. <laughs> but like I said so many times during the video, I think that these products are beautiful. I think the quality is really nice. If this is something that you think that you would like, I think that you would like it. <laughs> that's basically what this comes down to. I think that the formulas work perfectly. I have nothing to complain about. The packaging is beautiful. I might even pick up more of their stuff. Let me know if you want to see a video where I buy some stuff myself and try it out and see if the rest of their range is good quality as well, because I know they have a lot of different products and this isn't all they have to offer. Like I'm pretty sure they have brow products and foundations and all kinds of stuff. Now their foundation range is not the most inclusive. I will say that I saw it on our website. I think they had like four shades, but so maybe I won't try that, but there's still a lot of other stuff on their website that I'm interested in and I wanna try more of their formulas. So let me know if that's something you're interested in, but I had a blast playing with this. I'll show you the other look that I did as well with this palette. I thought I had done that already, but let me show you the first look that I did. So like I was saying, I did use mostly the uh, brown mattes in this look and they blended so well. They built up like a dream, had no issues working with them. I think that they did exactly what it is that I wanted them to do. And that's all I look for in my eyeshadows. Like that's what I want if they build, if they blend, if they look nice, if they don't fade, that's really all you can ask for. And I feel like these did exactly that. And the shimmer that I used on my lid was stunning as well. And I really like the little details that I did with this look too, because I couldn't help myself. I just did some dots in the outer portion, like off my outer corner. I've been loving doing that and it's so simple. And honestly, it can cover up mistakes too if you make them or if you have eyeshadows that maybe aren't doing what you want them to do. If you just put like some dots on the outer corner, you can cover up so many different things. <laughs> and it's like, it's so easy to do. It depends what you're using. I mean, you can use water activated liners for this. I usually use my JD Glow liners depending on what it is that I, I wanna do and the colors that I wanna use, but try it. I think that you would really like it. It's super fun to do and it's so quick and it just adds something extra to a look that you wouldn't otherwise have had and it literally takes less than a minute. <laughs> So yeah, I just, I had a blast with these and I think that the lip colors are nice, the blushes are nice. I'm excited to have them in my collection. I'm excited to use them more. I really like this blush color. I think that is so pretty. Like it looks like such a beautiful pink shade, even though in the pan it looks very red. Let me give you a swatch of it as well because I haven't actually swatched this. So you can see here, you can definitely build this up to be way more intense than it is on the face, but just if you use it sheerly, it's also just so easy to use and so easy to blend and so easy to get a sheer, more natural application with it. And I just really enjoy these products. So thank you to Flower Nails for sending these over. I had a blast playing with them. I don't have a code or anything or even an affiliated link, but I will link their website down below if you want to go check it out. So that's basically going to be it for today. Let me know if you try this brand, if you want to see some similar videos. Don't know if I have any. Maybe you like this video. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.